Welcome to Stockholm. This is a very important conference because I need your help to get guns off our streets and out of criminal hands. Last year in Sweden there were 388 shootings, killing 61 people. Criminals are killing people in the streets of Europe, also journalists, lawyers, and they are killing our children. Last month in Antwerp, an 11-year-old girl, a 15-year-old boy in Stockholm, shot dead by another child. The suspect is also 15 years old. Just over two years ago, a 12-year-old girl in Sweden, in the neighborhood where I grew up, in Botkyrka. And you are the first line of defense against the gun traffickers. I want you to know the European Union stands behind you, supporting your work through coordination, through funding. Through the action plan against firearms trafficking that I launched three years ago, which is now being implemented. And through our laws. I propose to update the firearms regulation and that will make your daily work easier. With clear and harmonized rules on the import and export of guns moving from paper to digital procedures, setting up a European licensing system, making it faster and more efficient for customs and police to work together to investigate suspicious shipments. Today I want to ask your help to prevent a potential threat. You know better than anyone that after the Balkan wars weapons flooded into the European Union. War is a catastrophe for people, but an opportunity for criminals. And we must now prepare for the period after the war in Ukraine and anticipate any potential risk of weapons from this war ending up in the EU. And the Ukrainians are as committed as we are. After all, Ukraine needs those weapons to defend their country. And they need more weapons to fight the Russian invader. And the EU will continue to support Ukraine and their right to self-defense. I was in Kyiv recently and I spoke to the acting minister of the interior. We discussed concrete actions we could take together on firearms. We can build on the close partnership we already have with Ukraine in the fight against crime. Already from before the war. Ukraine is fully committed to MPACT, the European platform to fight criminal threats. Last year, Ukraine took part in nearly 175 operational actions, actually including joint actions against traffickers on the Balkan route, leading to 384 arrests. Last summer, I launched the Internal Security Hub in Moldova to fight firearms trafficking, among other threats. And the Ukrainians are working very actively to counter trafficking, exchanging information with member states, Frontex and Europol. And so far very successfully. There are no signs of large-scale gun smuggling yet. I have full confidence in the Ukrainian government, in the Ukrainian authorities, in the Ukrainian police. And full trust in our work together. By taking such early and determined action, we can prevent the potential diversion of guns following the Russian aggression against Ukraine. I count on your help to achieve this important goal. And I wish you a very successful conference today. Thank you.